As a result of the great stink of 1858, Joseph Bazalgette built London's interceptor sewer. It goes all the way around London, still in great working order, and London will continue to depend on it. But London has radically developed and the population has tripled and continues to grow. Because of rainfall, sewage discharges over 50 times a year into this river. That is no longer acceptable. Something has to be done. And that something is the Thames Tideway Tunnel Project, one of the most significant infrastructure projects currently being undertaken in London. The sewer relief tunnel, once completed, will create a cleaner, healthier River Thames. London's current sewerage system relies on an integrated network of combined sewer overflows, or CSOs. A combined sewer is a type of sewer system that collects sewage and surface runoff in a single pipe. Sewage goes into the sewer tunnels, and when it rains, the surface runoff water is added to the system. During heavy rain, the low-level interceptor sewers fill up. The excess water and sewage is released into the River Thames. Where we're standing at is the Brixton CSO. You can see it's a pretty substantial structure, and you can imagine it when it's really raining hard, both of these gates would be wide open and there would be gushing of flow into the River Thames of combined sewage. We are doing a project that will take care of over 95% of that discharge and reduce the number of discharges from over 50 in a year to no more than four. An amazing cleanup for this river. And as you can see by the development we have around here, people are going to want to enjoy this river and it's their right to have a clean river and that's what we're doing. The Thames Tideway Tunnel will intercept the sewage before it enters the river, preventing the tidal river Thames from being polluted with untreated sewage, and allow the capital sewer system to continue to serve London for at least the next 100 years. CH2M is playing a major role in making this happen. We've been working on this project since its very beginning in 2008. We've been working for Thames Water, our client as an integrated partner responsible for developing the project from its original concept stage to the project that it is today. To do this, we've undertaken some of the most complex hydraulic and catchment area modeling ever undertaken. London has had the largest public consultation it's ever seen, and we submitted the largest planning application of its kind in the UK. So we are acting as a representative of our client, Thames Water, to make sure that this project's being done right and being delivered on time and on budget. And we are on track to deliver that to our client, Thames Water. The programme includes three separate schemes, two of which are already underway. Firstly, London's five major sewage works are being upgraded in capacity of sewage treated and level of treatment provided. Thames Water Utilities Limited is managing this upgrade scheme and projects are in operation. Secondly, the construction of the 6.9 kilometre long Lee Tunnel CH2M is the project manager. The final and most complex of the three schemes is the 25 km long Thames Tideway Tunnel, which will link up with the Lee Tunnel. And CH2M is the program manager. The Lee Tunnel, London's deepest at 80 metres. A brand new sewer running 6.9 kilometres from Abbey Mills pumping station to Beckton Sewage Treatment Works. Currently, we're standing at the largest combined sewer outfall at Abbey Mills. Uh, during a storm event, uh, most of what is dumped into the River Thames is released at this end. The Lee Tunnel, in conjunction with the treatment works improvements, will remove approximately half or 19 million tonnes of sewage annually from flowing into the Thames. Construction began in 2010, with operations commencing on schedule in early 2016. Innovation and technology have been really important on this job. When you think about it, where we're sitting right now, we are about 90 meters below ground, surrounded by about seven or eight atmospheres worth of, of pressure. We're completely dry. How do we achieve that? We achieved it through some really innovative technology and not only how we're building this tunnel, but how we built all of these shafts. These are the deepest shafts in London right now, and we built them so that they're completely dry. The Lee Tunnel's finished diameter is 7.2 metres and includes primary and secondary linings to ensure a 120-year design life. 
The tunnel was mined by a tunnel boring machine, or TBM. Over 30,000 concrete segments were used to create the tunnel. When rainfall comes in, it's going to fill through all the way up with sewage. That would have been water or sewage that would have gone into River Thames. It will be captured in this tunnel to be stored, treated, clean water returned to the river. The final and most complex of the three schemes is the 25 km long, 65 m deep Thames Tideway Tunnel. Broadly following the route of the River Thames from Acton in West London, linking up with the Lee Tunnel at Abbey Mills in East London. It will transport the combined sewage via the Lee Tunnel to Beckton Sewage Treatment Works, Europe's largest. The main tunnel will be built concurrently from several locations in order to manage risks and to complete it within the desired time frame. A tunnel boring machine will be used to construct the 7.2 meter diameter tunnel. The tunnel needs to be deep so the TBM can get below everything else that's in London already. Not only the river, but the tube, building foundations and other utilities and services, and ultimately connect to the deep Lee Tunnel. To minimise road congestion impacts, the Thames Tideway Tunnel construction plan includes using the river to transport 90% of the soil extracted from the main tunnel. The values of Thames Water and CH2M align perfectly with health and safety the most important value of all. Safety is in the DNA of our client and lead tunnel project. That is CHM Hill and MVB. Uh, that's what we live by every day. Safety is our number one value. Uh, we always try to make sure that everyone comes here safe, uh, works safe and goes home safe. We believe in zero target and zero compromise. So if anything feels unsafe and um, people are encouraged to say, no, I don't feel safe to do this, to stop unsafe acts and to also report near misses. This incredible project is continuing the legacy of Joseph Bazalgette and the Victorians. It is an exciting opportunity for those working on it. This is a great tunnel's dream. I'm, I'm a tunnel junkie, I'm a mole, and I, I love working in tunnels. It's a great opportunity, a great environment. The client is good, the contractor is good. You can't ask for any more. Thames Tideway Tunnel will make this a cleaner and healthier river and reconnect Londoners with the river. We're really proud to have played such a key role in this amazing and critical infrastructure project.